I think we'll get a much better feel for Cooper in the second half. After he breaks out of a sweat, has a nice find there, back out to Johnson. But if he can get himself going defensively, the offense will come. And Cooper, is. and one, off the window. Shackleford, the open three. Four, weak side, and here comes Cooper with the push to the left side and in. Cooper directing traffic, trying to wrap it. Second chance, got it. Think about Bruner, he just kind of is calm. You know, you can tell he's an older guy. They are losing the big fella on the ball screen. Cooper able to split the double on the hoop of his own to Cambridge. You got to foul him, knock him down, do something. He's got fouls to give. We'll try the 15-footer and run it down. Time there in half court. Here we go. Here is Cooper to the left into the lane. Count it. All right, biggest rivalry, and Primo looks like he's 28 years old playing. He has been solid so far. Oh, and the receiving end from Cooper with the one-handed flush. The force one is what you just saw. Reese hits the shot. Look at this. There's no reason not to drive the ball in this game. Start in 34 years. 3-0 alone atop the standings. And Cooper one-handed up and under with the left. Yeah, it just does right in a basketball game. He's got a couple of triples now in the double digits. And finally, Auburn clears. Here comes Cooper. On the break and the lead. And with his fingertips, Cambridge got it down. Great possession. Cooper with the takeaway. And the lead. Glass. 16 points, six rebounds for Bruner. Cooper, the hesitation, finds four. Tigers lead at eight to four. Cooper attacking off glass count in his first basket. Marla would be better off using some ball fakes, get defenders up off the floor. I believe is going to take place this year, and it's a big deal to pick up those quad one wins. Well, think about this. You, the committee is still going to have block, but Garcia stayed with the play, created the loose ball, and then Johnson was able to finish. Again, Cooper. Again. Flanagan benefits Cooper, right? Oh, there's no question. Kyer turns it over. Here comes Cooper. Easy basket. Work in progress. Five on the shot clock for Cooper. There he goes. Inside off glass. Totally. And for Auburn, remember this, it wasn't just Okoro. Auburn lost four. Sorry. Not only a tall team, Roy, but a bouncy team. Yeah. Case in point, Cambridge. I mean, he may have one in him tonight by the time it's all said and done. <laughs> Attacking. How about that move? The Both Sam well, telling us how emotional they got and just finding out the news. Go ahead. Second half has spilled over into this game. And I would agree. 25 for Cooper. Picked up the foul. Saar, he goes to the bench. Picked from behind. Cambridge. Cooper, alley -oop. That's what he does. So there's the flush for Cambridge. Eyes and different coverages on two and one. Four, grab it in traffic. Three jerseys around him. And what a look there from Cooper. Good look. There he is, Cooper. Five in both adjusted offensive efficiency and adjusted defensive efficiency. Both top five. Missed shot that up. Missed it. Two blue shirts go after it. Flanagan battled him. We got a two on one. That's just a great left handed pass. And we'll see if Kentucky can capitalize on it. Cooper to the hole. Great uh, dump off and an easy flush. Come back and fight, and now it's a one possession game. Cooper Alley, you oh my oh, what a pass! Five seconds to play. Brooks hedges on Cooper, he goes to the rack, lays it up and in. 
puts Arkansas on the board. Transition defense for both of these, these teams will be paramount in this game. Jalen Tate is really a ball hawking defender. I'm curious to see if that starts to change course this evening. Just one of 16 from downtown. He'll feed Flanagan. And of course, he doesn't have to shoot it. Four in blue. And that starts getting in your head, Roy. And Cooper almost on cue, showing he's got the range. Deep three. Cooper connects. Look at the lob. Wide open is Williams, the easy flush. Tonight, I talked about impacting the game in different ways. The Hogs flexing their muscles on the offensive glass a little bit. I know Arkansas staff was worried about their team's confidence. There's nothing wrong with Desi Sills confidence right now. Cooper. High off the glass, bounces that one home. And you mentioned that Auburn has that self-imposed penalty this year. And Bruce admitted yesterday that the challenge now of keeping his guys motivated with no seed to play for, no standing to play for, nothing in Joe Lenardi's bracket. That, that, that's a real deal in the going to the rim. But Bruce Pearl feeds his guys with so much confidence as a shooter, Beth. The only thing he's against is early transition guarded threes on your jump shot that goes in at a good clip. And you have to be a tough physical defender at your spot. He's not there on either one of those two yet. They around, perhaps play in the NCAA tournament next season and continue to I, work on his game. Yes, I, I, I say yes because I think, look at the vision, man. That's, that is uncommon that Bruce Pearl talks about. And he understands winning plays, and that's just, whew. Against LSU was amazing. All threes and layups. Cooper going to have a chance from deep, and he'll knock it down. Seven triples from six different guys already, and they add another. People like, you know, my, my friends Doris Burke and and Jessica Mendoza and, and you know, Holly Rowe, people that have been around for, for so long right here on the court, uh, being a student athlete myself, you know, playing D1 basketball. Uh, all the experiences, the camaraderie, the chemistry, you know, we're seeing, you know, it was quick. Well, that last, the last fight for him about a year ago, right, against Cowboy, that was over in a, in a flash. No, what happened? <laughs> you, think, you think Anthony Jordan said that to Kobe? You know, Dane's son did this the other day. Nice feed and a two-hand stop for D but with the two-point advantage. Now Cooper breaking down. Pinson flew by routine during the game, and I'm really happy for T Tillman because he's had a tough few years in terms of just roller coaster. The freshman from down the road in Powder Springs, Georgia, with seven points, make it nine. Rebound to Williams. Cooper lob it up. Cambridge. Everything seems to be aligning right now for the Tigers at this point in the season. A lot of momentum. And with a Cooper in a position to be successful, let him go. Sights on the end zone. Rolls through. To make Cooper a scorer, John, his passing is way more dangerous. Even though he's averaging 22, it's a high volume set of shooting. He said, I can make this 12 footer. I know the analytics guys don't like it, but I can make that. Inside catch. They got a great look at it from yep. Mitchell. Good rescreen. The defender went under, and Mitchell knew exactly what to do. American, and if this team wasn't so balanced, you'd certainly put him in the mix for player of the year along with Luca Garza. Idea. Who would win that game? Because I've seen them both, and they're both great. But if you made me de decide because of the S curve this year, there's going to be no consideration for geography when they put the bracket together. They will be the one and two seed. Georgia loves to push it and score in a hurry, and we know what Auburn does again in this building. They want to get the tempo up, try to score it as fast as they can. All school and AAU ball. Their AAU coach was Lamar Cooper. It was one of the worries of Bruce Pearl coming into this one. Georgia. Goes down. Johnson squared up Wheeler at half court, and then there was a high pick. He just went right through the defense. Consider this: Georgia scored 1.14 points per possession in the first half. Anything over one in the college game is pretty good. Cooper buries the three. 
team that's up and down, space it out, usually their advantage. Wow. Cooper able to get it up and down, and guys start hitting shots. To whose advantage would that be? Reagan did that in both Ole Miss wins. He attacked their 1-3-1. One, one. He could get it in the paint and could finish. A couple of big ones from Wheeler. Here's Cooper, shows the ball and puts it in. For the first round picks. We'll see if he can play his way into that spot, but that's the reason he can. That vision, mind you, I know Alabama lost today, but Alabama's legit. Get 26 points, 9 rebounds. I mean, I Cooper on the quick counter and one. And now he's back out there with his guys. They are not at full strength, by the yep. way. Hadim C is unavailable. Gonzaga had a battle the other night against Pacific. Um, heads up. Ooh. Great job. Schuler tried to beat the shot clock buzzer. Cooper, oh, boy. long bounce pass. <laughs> and the in that first half for Auburn, the only guy who found himself in some trouble. <laughs> what a look and a fun. Got numbers, four and five. Oh, oh terrific no look from Cooper to Cardwell. Cooper. Gives it up for Thor, trying to tie it, no. Back out to Sharif, another chance to tie, and that one goes! What a roll! Albert's missed eight of their last nine, but that will be uh, nothing but the bottom of the... Auburn stormed back, they went on a 12-0 run, took the lead. Vanderbilt fought back late in the first half to take the lead and there you go as Sharif Cooper finally gets the shot to fall on Brown His first basket Woo! and right back Auburn comes emphatically with a Another alley-oop Allen Flanagan getting up high throwing it but still that was a shot though, right? That take it shot. He's been rolling tonight, too. Cooper, how about that? Oh, together. See on your screen, a really good game coming up at 4 Eastern on ESPN2. Arkansas and Missouri will go at it. A blocking foul again. Very rarely do you make mistakes, partner. We understand. Very rarely. Well, Going to be eating at me for a while. Cleaned it up, though. Speaking of... Cooper, give him the bucket, and now the lead is double figures. It's a shit. So a slow out of the gates for both of these teams. Cambridge again finds himself by himself. Well, staying on that offensive glass, you know, he's been really playing well with the rebounding. And there is Cooper getting it. Is Co yeah, Cooper will get it back, obviously, in around 10 seconds and under. Cooper against Toppin. Penetrates, fades, and hits. Sets. In and out. Rebound. Cardwell. Cooper on the dribble drive. Beautiful fake. 33-28. Auburn leads it with a minute 24 to go in this first half. High screen. Akingbola. Jump shot goes down. Ejected. <laughs> the power of Thor. Very nice. Kentucky has never led, and Auburn trying to make sure it doesn't happen. Sharif Cooper. Now all of a sudden they're dragging the ball to the middle of the floor, driving it to the ball, and then kicking it out. Much easier way to shoot the basketball. 12-2 run, bucket goes for Sharif Cooper. Going to go towards the basket. Under two minutes to play. Auburn down by four to Kentucky. Cooper needs help. Lob it in. Thor turns, banks it in. Greening action. If they're going to switch them, get see certain switches, and they've got to be able to take advantage of different mismatches when they get them. And that's what Bruce Pearl talked to us a lot about, to guard your yard and, and be able to keep the ball contained. And right now, oh, man, Sharif Coop, much elevation in it, very low release point. He's got to be able to make threes consistently at the next level. That's going to be a big piece. And Andre Hyde gets rejected. Chance for Auburn to close the gap here. Cooper on the spread out. The post. It's not necessarily what he wants to do. Cooper the other way. Teardrop, no. And in amongst the bigs, Cooper's got a baker's dozen now. 
Rebounded by Dylan Cardwell. Devin Cambridge picked up his third foul that last trip down for Auburn. Chance for the Tigers, and it's JT. That was against Texas A&M, hit five threes in that game. Cooper, down the paint. Oh, he's good in trap. Here's Cooper in traffic again and finishing again. Blocking foul to be an and one opportunity.